What is up guys, my name's Jono and welcome to another video on my channel. Before we get into it, I would like to let you know that I do stream three days a week on Twitch. I'll leave a link to that in my description. I do Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 6pm UK time. So if you would like to join, come in, have a chat, then, then that would be lovely. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. So in today's video, as you've probably guessed by the title, I'm going to be looking at the Nanoleaf Rhythm Panels, the Colour Light Hexagon Things of Joy, which you can see in a little reflection right there actually, I didn't think of that. Also ignore this whole mess, or I just don't. And I'm also going to be comparing those to the Life X Smart Bulbs, which are currently glowing above me. So yeah. First one I'm going to have a look at is the Nanoleaf Rhythm Panels. So guys, these are the Nanoleaf Rhythm Panels. Now I bought these off Amazon for around £180, which makes them the most expensive of these three options. Now for that you get nine panels and like the starter kit, which basically comes in with the wall outlet plug, which is where they're plugged into, and a super, super long cable, which is really, really helpful. It also comes with this extra bit on here, I don't know if you can see that. I think that's like a microphone to do the whole music thing, but I'm not entirely sure. So if you do know what that's for, be sure to let me down. Let me know. Don't let me down. 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 Be sure to let me know down in the comments. And yeah, these lights are fully customizable. You could probably do a much more creative design than I've come up with, but I really like the symmetry of this. You can also buy loads of extensions, so you can have, make them more that you don't have to just set one with nine. They come in a 15 panel starter pack as well, or you can buy expansions in packs of three. And the colors that these flick through or stay out if you want are also completely customizable but what you can do is you can change the color palette so the colors they use and you can change the way that it flicks between them now the way i've got it is called burst this is one of the pre-made ones they have for you on the app but there are ways you can download more and burst means basically that the next color comes from the middle and spreads outwards but you can have it going through as a arrow up down sideways you can have it like fade there's all kinds of different ways on the Nano Leaf app. Unfortunately, I can't show you because the app's on my phone, and so are you. So that's pretty much the Nano Leaf. Now, these come in the box with command strips. They are designed to go on your wall, which is really handy. There's no like screws or any annoying bits like that. So I think they're the easiest to set up. But let's have a look at the color light hexagons of joy. Okay guys, so now we're going to take a look at the colour light panels. Now, these bad boys were a right pain in the ass to set up. And this is because they are, when they're sent to you, unless you pay extra for the wall mounting kit, they're meant as like a desk kind of lamp type style thing. But the problem is, the stands are shite. So it's leaning all over the place, it's awful. So I wanted to put them on my wall anyway, if I quickly pan down here you can see it's above my setup if you will my, uh, my beloved setup and now these like I said you have to pay extra for a wall mounting kit I don't want to do that and also they're designed with screws I don't want to screw holes into the wall as you can maybe see above it's already crappy enough as it is like I didn't want to do that so what I did nano leaf kindly sent mu much more many more many more command strips than i actually needed to put them up so I, what i did was i kind of did a makeshift command strip with these guys and that was good because it saved me money but it was bad because randomly like this one is connected but as i haven't connected it perfectly it won't turn on and i'm too scared to touch anything to touch that very hard because if I press that one at all 
there's a risk that half of these will then become disconnected, which is why I say they're a pain to set up. Do not write these off, because the customizability is the best out of all of these ones, I think. Of all the lights we're going to look at today, I think this, it just has the most options. What you can do with this, now, they have preset scenes, they do have lots of preset scenes. This is called Wild Breath which reminded me of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I chose that, and it's a bit, it's kind of greeny with some dark stuff that kind of washes through. I know what the words are. I'm not an animator. I just like lights a little bit too much, my bank would say. Anyway, but then what you can also do is create your own dynamic scenes. Now this is 15 scenes that you can choose these to switch through and you can actually set the colour of each individual panel and then what it wants to change to 15 times. Now what you could have you could have a you could have like a colour washing through slowly upwards scene by scene. You could just have completely different colours. You could, the, the possibilities are endless and that's why I love the customization on these things. Now altogether this cost me I got a three three pack starter pack and 10 extra. So that was 130 pounds. So they're a bit cheaper than the Nano Leafs, but they, or is it Nano Leaves? Hmm. Now I got 13 of these. One of them doesn't turn on. One of them's missing because they fell off the wall and I never found it again. But they were about 50 quid less than the Nano Leaf. The coverless room, the cables are a lot less long, but these ones are actually powered by USB, which is brilliant. I've got them plugged into the back of my Xbox One S All Digital Edition. You can plug them into any USB. Sometimes people have had problems plugging them into a computer that they only reach half brightness. I haven't had that with my Xbox so far, but my Xbox is always plugged into the wall, so maybe it's to do with that. And my Xbox is off right now and they're still on, which is another thing that I like about it. I can have turn these on whenever I want. But anyway, back to what I was saying, they're a bit more, a bit less money. There's a bit more customization, but they're much less reliable. So the, it, there is a trade-off there. And it's all, of course, also personal preference. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the LifeX bulbs. But don't worry, we're not actually going to do that like this. This is really awkward. Okay, you guys. So these LifeX bulbs, you can only see one here, but there's also one there. Now, for two of them, I paid about £90, making them the cheapest option. But because they're not fancy wall-mounted LED panels, although they are LEDs, they're not on the wall, they are a bit less cool. But you could put these in a lamp. I just put them in the ceiling because I figured that would be fun. So yeah, they're, they are the cheapest, but they're also the least cool looking. Now these two bad boys were actually very annoying to set up because once I put one in, now both my light sockets are connected at the same power switch on the wall. That's, that's key knowledge for this bit. Once I paired one and then went to pair the other, well, it didn't work properly and then made me reset them by turning the wall switch on and off five times and waiting it for, to flash. But because both of them connect to that power source, it reset them both, didn't it? So I had to go through them all like so many times. So what I ended up having to do was set one of them up, then take it out of the socket and then pair the other one and then put it back in. And I still have problems to this day with like Google talking to them and the app doesn't always, you know, properly connect, but they're the cheapest and they also, I guess, are the big kind of, there's a glow in this room as you can tell, I'm probably coming across very, very pink. And that's not sunburn, that's the light. And I think they're responsible for the majority of that. But again, they're not wall mounted, they're not as cool, but they are cheapest and they do give a really good glow. They're very good quality bolts. My effects are one of the more expensive kind of bulbs that you can get like this. You can get many others, which are just as good, perhaps even better in terms of ease of use. But one thing these do do well is the customization. Like I said, with the Colo light, 
these lights are cool in the way that you can choose themes. You can also change the colour individually, but you can choose preset themes, which turn them a, a colour to kind of give off that mood. And if you had even more lights in here, so I had eight, they'd all kind of be slightly different to give off that kind of a vibe. You know, we just vibe it out here, and we love that. So overall, guys, my favourite out of these three lights would probably have to be the Nano Leaf, and that's just because they were the easiest to use. The colour lights have fallen off the wall God knows how many times, and I'm scared to touch them, because it will turn half of them off, and it will take me a day to get them back. That has happened. The Nano Leaf have worked since day one. You can change them as much as you like, I've stuck them on the wall and don't really want to, so I'm going to keep them like that. And the Lifex bulbs I also had issues with, the Nano Leaf were the most easy to use, and that's why I like them. They're also really, really bright, but they have a massive range as well, so if you want them to be really dull, just because it's dark and you're tired, they're really good with that too. There's also a good amount of customization on them. It's not as advanced, I think, as the colour light, but it's still pretty damn good. And maybe I just haven't found, maybe they're just as advanced and I just haven't found out the way to use it because the app's a little bit more confusing. But yeah, they're my favourite. They're the most expensive, so you'd expect that higher level of quality, I guess. The best value, however, I think are the Colo Lights. That's because you can get three of them with a desk stand for only £40, which would make them the cheapest, and it would mean you just had three of them. But with the customization that they offer, I think that is a brilliant price. So it all depends on how many you want, where you want to put them, if you want them on the wall, Nano Leaf's probably better. If you don't, Color Light, if you want them in the ceiling, then you have to go with the LifeX bulbs, because the other two just don't work in the, they won't fit. Basically, what I've done there is looked at three different types of lights and not given you a definite option of which one you should get. So you're welcome. So guys, I want to thank you so much for checking out this video, for staying this long. I hope it helped a little bit. Probably didn't, you know, revolutionise your life or anything, but effort. And like I said at the beginning, I do stream on Twitch three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Feel free to follow me, come and have a chat with me there. You can ask me any questions about these lights or anything else that I use. And yeah, please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, please tell me why in the comments. It always helps me, it helps me come back to this, it helps me help you. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers!